Courtney. Tonight, another alleged victim describes the acts of violence she experienced at the hands of Daniel Callahan. His ex-wife claims that he has always been a violent man and she has experienced violence too. She spoke exclusively to WDSU reporter Ariel Brumfield about their marriage. Ariel. Amber Boyd, Callahan's ex-wife, she details their short stint of marriage that she says was filled with a lot of abuse. Take a listen. I was starting to find out about his drug issues and I wanted to leave and I tried to leave and he literally slammed me to the ground and wouldn't let me leave. The scariest one was when he put a knife through my throat and slid, like took the point of it and kind of slid it down my body to my stomach and said, never mind, I'm going to stab you in the stomach and let you bleed out slowly. He also had tried to smother me with a pillow and didn't stop until I, I pretended, turned my head to the side and pretended to, that I was unconscious. A short marriage with a long record of alleged abuse. Amber Boyd, Daniel Callahan's ex-wife, says they married in 2008. She was 21 years old and he was 20 and only together for about six months. He lived next door to my mother at the time. Um, well, with his mother. Um, and her boyfriend, and we just kind of ran into each other. The violence, she says, was almost immediate for the couple who lived at the Browns trailer park in a meet. He slammed me into gr the ground a few times, once into a hunk of concrete, which caused me to not be able to walk That by that night. I'm guessing the muscles around my spine swell up, and I tried to call the cops before, but he smashed up on the bits. Boyd petitioned for a restraining order in August of 2008. The motion was dropped because Boyd failed to show up to court. She says she escaped when Callahan was arrested one day. WDSU obtained documents showing the couple divorced in 2010. But these memories came in a flash after she says she heard of Callahan's recent killings. I felt sick. Like I just wanted to throw up. Like it was awful. And, and then like I listened to his interviews as well and all I have to say is if he wants the death penalty, don't give it to him. Don't give him anything he wants because this is not an isolated incident. He has been violent. His, well, at least as long as I've known him, he has been a violent man. It's not the meds. It's him. The now 37 year old is a personal trainer and lives in Texas and is still working on her healing journey. Do not wait for someone to change. If they put your hand, their hands on you, leave right then. Don't hesitate. Call the police. Get safe because it will escalate. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. And Boyd shared that she has gone through therapy, but she says she often still struggles with the abuse that she dealt with from Callahan. Reporting live, I'm Mario Brumfield, WDC News.